Yo! Hello! How is everybody doing? <laughs> That's Eeyore's voice for ya. It is now, um, February 19th, 2019. It is a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful donkey day. See that? And I'm gonna gotta go to the bathroom. While I'm in the bathroom. I'm gonna set you down right here. Oh jeez, I hate my computer when it shuts off like, like that. My computer runs. This is, it hasn't gone too far. And, and here's a dad that's had an open door from the day, from the day they were born. And who have, I've never pushed them away from me. I've done everything to counteract all of this. That I know how to do. Well, if I, you want I, to know what to change, you want me to show you some things to change? Yes, I do. Well, all right, then let's let's go out and do we'll, I'm willing to take that step. I'm willing to take that step. Uh, I'm going to show you after the break because I think you really want to know. And I think you really want to know. You, you guys are not bad people, but you're making bad choices. And the good thing about decisions is they're like, they have a beginning and an end. You can stop making bad decisions right now today. You can stop making bad decisions right now today, even though I put you in here and you wasted this time doing what you did before you got here. You could have spent this time saying, hey, why don't we do something different? But you didn't do that. You did what you did every day before you got here. Let's take a second chance. Let's go out there and do something different. And that means you gotta not be a victim. Be a victor here. Decide, you know what, I came here today one set of services, I'm going to leave your day of the relationship with my children. Is that, is there anything else you want? No. Of course not. You don't need to be right. You don't need to win. Uh -uh. All right. Let's, let's go out and do this. We'll be there. All right. We're coming. There was one time he somehow managed to slip away and ran all around the classroom like crazy, bumping into my classmates' feet and scaring the heck out of my teacher, Mrs. Robinson. If you could have only seen her face at that moment. It turns out that she was allergic to fur and couldn't stand animals in general. Some of the guys were not very fond of Strudel either. They started to think I was some kind of rat breed, and I ended up being nicknamed Rat Boy. Maybe they were just jealous that Strudel and I now got all the girls' attention. It's not that I cared too much about what these guys said or thought, it's just that for me, he wasn't it is really a different than what you just saw. And I'll tell you why. Uh, now, there was an interventionist there, Debbie Noss, and her son Brandon, who you may remember we did an intervention with many years ago here on the stage. But what you saw happen there is Jamie went ballistic, right? And her brother decided to control her. And you'll notice nobody from Dr. Phil or Debbie or Brandon touched her at all, because we... We don't do that. We don't wrestle people. We don't do that. Our intervention protocol, which you can find on drphil.com, will tell you, keep things calm, keep things safe, and if, and if you need to, you do exactly what Debbie did. More amazing updates when we come back. And while preparing this show, we receive letters of thanks from people who say their lives... This is something they're really perceiving is happening. Even though we don't see it or hear it or feel it, they do. Okay? Now, the third is disorganized thinking. So, if we are struggling with psychosis, oftentimes our thinking is not in order. Okay? It will be noticed through someone's speech. It can sound like you're hopping from a topic to another. We used to call it in the um, hospital world, word salad. And it's like, I don't even know, random words strung together. Now the fourth is grossly disorganized or abnormal motor behavior. And I have written down, it can be catatonia as well. Now, I know these are a lot of large words and it can be really confusing, but what this really means is, so their behavior is grossly disorganized, is very disorganized. They can struggle to get to the grocery store to buy the bread that they need because that would be an organized behavior, be a goal-oriented Thing. And it can be very hard for them. A lot of the one thing, the 
and I'll get off my soapbox in a second. But the one thing I feel like people always overlook is those who struggle with psychosis, being schizophrenia or any kind of those spectrum disorders, is depression. A lot of them are very depressed. It can be a really scary world for
day. Jennifer claims that she was jumped, and we went to the hospital to pick her up, and it was a whole weird circumstance. And as we were digging into it, I kind of figured out, I don't think she was ever in the hospital. I don't either. <laughs> I'm going to confront her today about it. I'm going to find out, number one, why did she lie? Number two, what actually happened, if anything? And number three, we're going to see what's on that video. Oh, my God, yes. Today is the day. For truth. I feel like y'all looked a little too angry there. You did. Oh, honey, chill! Yeah! Chill! Hey, that's a movie. Hey! You have four kids this age and younger. Right. Uh, where do you come down on the controversy? Do you think you have an accurate diagnosis of what's going on here? I think after all these years, we do. We've seen several different psychiatrists through the years, and they've all danced around several different diagnoses and they've all come back to bipolar and as one of the doctors put it uh, the stabilizer that she is on in, in a normal person that stabilizer would bring them to a point of being zombie like and with her it it brings it down her moods are down somewhat but she is by no means a and zombie. what is she on now she's on uh Depakote and on Seroquel and Abilify yes you have another daughter Ailish yes. Those two kids, if they wanted a relationship with you, you standing on the other side of that door. 
Open the door. New Dr. Phil. I feel like I want to read and read and read tonight.
Mondays. Oh, I the cl- the class is over until four. Oh, that was that's right. Okay, shoot. Because the only difficulty is that there there aren't any offices open. Um, Too bad we can't meet at the school and all. Right. <laughs> Other versions would do more stuff. You can download to an MP3 player. You can pick your voices. But like I said, most students are happy with the free version. So you just click on the free download. And then it kind of goes through the instructions for you. Okay? Okay. So I'm just going to stop it because I already have it on this computer. Yeah. Like this, no. Me neither.
no, I'm not running away because of her. If she still has an issue, then she can still drop the team. I'm burning the place down. You got the bed bugs? That don't make sense. This isn't the Red Rock Motor Lodge in Montgomery, Alabama. Please send the lawsuit to our lawyer whose address is below. That's right. He's also a lawyer. The mystery deepens. I don't have bed bugs. I'm burning it down so I can fake my own death. Can you throw me that white fur coat filled with honey baked hams? What? I can't just I can't take it, Peter. I thought I could marry Jess, but it's awful. I can't live this way. Relax, you're married now. You don't have to worry about nothing. Everything's done for you. I mean, I literally don't know where sharks come from. No idea. Do they come from trees? From bushes? I don't know. Get a hole in one, new pair shows up in my drawer. Just like that. Who do? I chucked the mustard onto the front lawn last week. That night, back in a fridge. That would be kind of nice. Listen, stick with me. We're going to have a great adventure. Like the astronaut who thinks the lowest number is three. How did you know? Did you follow you? Are you at the payphone? Yes, I did. Why you go to the bank and make a little withdrawal? 